welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be, yes, another Dollar Tree haul. I went back to Dollar Tree and they put out so much more holiday stuff as far as like fall and Halloween that I haven't seen the past two trips I've been over. So I did pick up quite a bit of things. So I wanted to share with you guys. So I picked up this time around at Dollar Tree. Majority of everything is Halloween. I have a few fall items and then I have a few just like random stuff I grabbed that I was super excited to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into this haul. So I'm gonna start off with the Halloween stuff that I picked up this time around. So I did pick up a few signs. So I'm not sure what I have from last year because every year I usually pick up things. So if I have double of anything, then I'll just give it away for gifts. But I got this first sign and it's black and orange. It has glitter on it and it has a witch on a broomstick. It says, join our black hats and society. And I thought that was really cute. So this year I am decorating inside of my house for Halloween. Last year I did a few touches, but this year I'm going a little more out with the whole Halloween decor. So picked up this sign. I'm not sure where I'm gonna place everything, but I just thought this was really pretty and all the black parts are glitter. So if you guys aren't into glitter, probably won't like this because the glitter does come off, but I liked it, so I grabbed this sign. So next sign has a bunch of different Halloween sayings on it. So it says trick or treat, happy haunting, Haunted House is just a bunch of different Halloween things. And I also loved that little pumpkin right here. I thought that was a really nice touch to the sign. So this also will be going up for Halloween decor in my house this and year. The last sign I picked up was this Beware sign. And I have picked this up before in the past, but I just did DIYs with it. But what I plan on doing with this one is I think putting it in the corner of my fireplace. So it's like a white, um, it's supposed to be like a wood look. And then in black glitter, it just says beware with some spider webs and spiders. And then it has like a little design in the bottom. So I just thought that would go really cute um, on the side of my fireplace. All right, so the next few items are gonna be these really cute glass jars. I think you're supposed to put like candles in them, like little votive candles, but I grabbed three of them. I've never seen them at my Dollar Tree, so I was super excited when I found them. So I did grab two of the black ones and then it has a black jute twine around it with the cute little silver pumpkin in the front. So like I said, I grabbed two of the black ones and then I grabbed one orange one. Same thing, it has the black jute twine all around with the silver little pumpkin. Not sure where I'm gonna put it. I think I might put it somewhere in my kitchen, maybe my little high top bar area and put them all together like that. I'm not sure where I will put inside, um, but we'll play around with it. But I just thought that was really cute. I did also see green and there might have been one more color but if you guys check out my dollar tree shop with me i did share with you guys in that video all the colors they had but i remember they did have a green color as well next item that i found that i was super excited to find are these cute little ceramic pumpkins i got one in white so you're supposed to put a candle in here probably won't put a candle i think i'm just going to use it for decor but this one is white and then it says boo with black around it and then up here is gold. And then this one is same thing, except it's black with a white trimming and a gold little stem. And I thought these were so cute. And I'm trying to bring a little bit of um, pops of black in my kitchen. So I thought this would go really cute to decorate for Halloween. Next item is going to be this ceramic little skull head. And he is white and it's kind of like a pearlescent um, white. They also did have it, I think, in black. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I might've picked one up last year for Halloween. I'll have to look in my Halloween stash. If I did, it's okay. I'll put one maybe in my bathroom and then one somewhere in the house, but I just grabbed a white one. Like I said, I think they had like a pearlescent black one as well. And then sticking with Halloween stuff, I did get two of their mats. They always have like little mats that you can use for like outside or inside. I picked up two Halloween ones. So this one is the witch one it says come in my praise. So this one, I think I'm going to put um, in my front door. So I already have a like welcome mat in my front door. What I plan on doing is putting this one on top of that one, just because this is a very small size. So I'll just put this one on top of the one that I have um, in front of the house. So I grabbed that one. And then I grabbed a second one and this one says trick or treat and I'll put this one inside the house. What I plan on doing with this one is putting my dog's food and water bowl on top of it. And I thought that would be really cute just to decorate her little corner. And yeah, so I, um, I'm gonna put the dog's bowls on that mat. And I think that's the only Halloween items I picked up. I did pick up 
these little branches as well to put in. I have, I bought like a vase from Target that I wanna put some of these in, but this one, I'm not sure um, where I'm gonna do it because I did buy quite a few jars. So I bought like these potion jars. I'm thinking about putting these in, but they're just a like Halloween branches. So I grabbed two of the orange ones and then two of the black ones and they are glitter. The glitter does fall out very, very easily. That's the only thing I don't like too much about it, but it is really pretty. So I just grabbed four, like I said, two orange and two black ones. And then I also grabbed these two willow ones. And this one, I think I'm gonna put in a vase that I purchased when I decorate for fall. And you can totally keep this out year round, but I did grab two of those. And then I also picked up these decorative picks and they're just glittered pumpkins and it comes with five. They had a larger size, but the little um, jar I wanna put it in, I think the larger ones would've been too big. So I just grabbed the smaller ones. And like I said, it does come with five and they're all glittered. I also picked up this bouquet and it has like a cotton stem with some acorns. And I figured I would put that along with one of the branches that I bought, the um, willow branch in the jar that I want to decorate for fall. And they only had one left of this one or I would have grabbed another one, but I just grabbed that one to decorate for fall. And then if you guys watched my previous Dollar Tree haul, you would have seen these pumpkins, but I found two more. These were the last two and I picked up two more just because you can never have too many pumpkins. And also if I can't find a place to put it in the house, I'll just give it away as a gift. But I got two more of these really pretty white pumpkins and it does have like um, an engraved leaf on them. I don't know if you guys can tell because my lighting, but it, they're both ceramic and I thought they were really cute. They also have the gold stem on top. So it's just a neutral color. I did see another color. I think it was like a blue color and they had a few of those, but I just um, grabbed the white and gold ones. And the last two fall items I picked up were these two pumpkin boxes. So this one says pumpkin spice season with two pumpkins on it. And I thought that was really cute. And then it also has a black ribbon. And then this one just says autumn blessings with a cute little truck. And the truck is full of pumpkins. And I think I'm going to maybe um, even put these like little willow branches inside. I'm not sure. I bought this for a jar, but I'm going to play around with it because I do want to put some type of like floral type of something or maybe the pumpkin picks in here. I don't know, but I am gonna use it to decorate for fall and I just grabbed these two. So now I'm gonna share with you guys random stuff that I picked up. I did pick up these two craft floral foams for when I decorate. I need to put these like in jars so the flowers can stay still. So I just grabbed two of these. For my dog, I just grabbed her a toy. They always have really cute toys. So I just got this one that says hashtag spoiled and it's purple and it has like a little um, squeaker somewhere in it. And she loves toys to have the squeaker. So I just grabbed her that. And then you guys, I got so excited when I found these makeup items. So I've never seen these brands in um, at least my Dollar Tree. So I love Real Techniques. I use their Beauty Blender and I've been using it for years. They didn't have the regular Beauty Blender, but they had these two items I've never tried out. I figured I would try. This one is the Real Techniques Base Expert Air Cushion Sponge. And you put your makeup on it. It's supposed to be supposed to give you an airbrushed um, finish look. And then I found these four Miracle Blotting Cushions. And I'm so excited to try these out. Cannot believe I found these at Dollar Tree. They sell them at Target and they're much more than a dollar. So I grabbed two of these. If these end up working really well, I'm gonna go back, pick up some more for myself and also gifts for friends and family. And then I was excited to find the Flower brand makeup in my Dollar Tree. Again, I've never used anything from Flower brands and I didn't even know they sold it at um, Dollar Tree. I think Drew Barrymore is the one who owns this line, but I got a foundation. This is the foundation. No, this is a BB cream. It's the only color I could find and it is shade BB3. And I figured for a dollar, I would try it out. And then I also found a lip suede matte velvet finish and this is in Barrymore. Again, it is the flower brand, which I'm pretty sure is by Drew Barrymore. And I know they sell these at Walmart. And then I also found a blush and the blush is in the color Wine Sum. So I'm super excited to try all of these out. If you guys have ever tried this brand Flower, let me know how it works. I'm probably test it out tomorrow and see how it works. Um, Yeah, but I was excited to find that. And then the last three items I purchased were some books. So I love to read and I've been trying to make time 
to read every night. I just feel like it's very therapeutic. So I found two books for myself and this one is called Light as a Feather and I guess it's a Hulu original series but I found this one so I grabbed this one to read and then I also found this book and it's called The Arsonist. So it's like a hardcover book and it looked interesting. I read to see what it was about so I thought that would be a good book to read and only for a dollar why not and then the last book I got was not for me but was for my um mom's husband he likes to read as well and I found this one it's called Lessons in Disaster and yeah I thought he would like this book so I picked him up this book all right guys so that was the last item I picked up from Dollar Tree so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul if you guys are into shopping videos and also hauls definitely make sure you are subscribed with your bell turned on because the holidays are coming up which means I'm going to be doing a lot more shopping and doing hauls and shop with me videos so definitely subscribe if you guys are into those types of videos as always thanks so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye